we have other issues where this duct is not a straight channel so it has its course like you know there are certain muscles around which the duct kind of bends and this bend can be very acutely angulated so in some cases what you got to realize is that the endoscope that you are using is basically a semi flexible i would say more of a rigid endoscope but semi flexible it's not a fully flexible endoscope so it's not possible for this endoscope to kind of you know go through a very acute bend so these are the limitations that we have with a silent endoscope so there are situations where you can actually see the calculus but it is right inside a bend so you cannot instrument you cannot kind of manipulate now those are the situations where you kind of think of other options like your combined approach so i think in my previous video i did talk about how you can use silent endoscopy and combine it with a intraoral incision for example for the submandibular gland or for the parotid for that meat matter you could probably place a cosmetically acceptable incision and subsequently trace the stone with the endoscope and then mark the stone locate where the stone is and then trace it from an external approach so still preserving the gland mm -hmm.